We're working with 12 boroughs of London which receive coaching, so it's four weeks of tennis coaching within the school, uh, one week back of the club, to so have an intra-school competition which feeds into the London-wide Learning Disability Tennis Competition. London Youth Games Foundation and Tennis Foundation have been working together for about four years to grow the programme of competitions in London and in the last two years we have been focusing on young people with learning disabilities. This is a superb example of how we can get children out from school environments and playing together right across London and in being included in a festival. Tennis is a a fully adaptable and inclusive sport so actually anyone can play tennis whether you have a learning disability, a physical disability, a visually impaired disability. The teachers say they see a marked change in these young people particularly in growth and confidence. Well I think it's a great opportunity to get out and meet some other kids from different schools, a chance to socialise with people aren't familiar with and a real confidence uh, builder for them as well. well. Obviously socially it's great for them to go out and compete against other kids from other schools and see other boroughs and also just to learn about winning and losing. Yeah, I love it. Um, throwing it and winning. You move a lot and it's fun. My favourite bit is passing the ball. Because when I serve, it makes me feel like I'm confident and feels like I'm a real player. We are working with students from Tower Hamlets that are helping referee our tournament today. Oh. So they've done the Young lead Tennis Leaders qualification a couple of weeks ago and last week with the LTA we did the competition organisers course so this is now a step on from what they've been doing and it's their first chance to umpire and see a competition being run fully. Play! I want to get more experience on working in tennis, like knowing the more the rules and like umpiring the game. I'm helping these people that doesn't know like the the basic, basic rules of tennis. Uh, today's helping by showing me how to umpire a match and as well as that I'm developing my own skills. So building on the success for the Paralympics in London in 2012, there's been a spike in participation uh, across the board. I worked a bit with the Paralympics at a grassroots level and, and that's really shown a massive change I think in appreciation. It's been a massive interest, especially since Murray won. They want to get on court and actually play and actually want to play, take part in competition rather than just knocking the ball around at lunchtime. They actually want to train now. I hope that after this competition today that they'll be asking their teachers where is my local place to play so they can actually continue to play tennis out of school and within school.